Hello everyone, Gecko here. It's the end of a long day here at the garage and the mechanicals are getting ready for bed. Oh, Blue Mechanical, are you okay? Oh dear, it looks like there's a leak in the garage roof. We'd better go up there and fix it. Mechanicals, I need a volunteer to come and help me out, please. Thanks, Blue. Yikes, it's very rainy out here. Be careful, Blue. I think there's a storm coming. Ah! Oh no! Blue Mechanical's been struck by lightning! Are you okay, Blue? Come on over and let's get you into the garage and check you out. Poor old Blue Mechanical. It must have been very frightening. One minute you're working on the roof, the next you're struck by lightning. Your friends have checked you over and listened to you whir and beep. Now they think you're probably okay. You just need a good night's sleep. Good morning everyone. It's another beautiful day at Gecko's Garage after the storm last night. How are you feeling, Blue Mechanical? There's no time for a break here at the garage. Here comes Max the monster truck. Max wants to go faster in his stunt show, so we're going to make some enhancements. Welcome, Max. With these changes we're going to make today, you're going to go as fast as lightning. Now, where did I put that screwdriver? Is it in this toolbox? No. In this drawer? No. Hmm. I really must get more organised. Now, where is it? Hmm. Max, where's your wheel gone? Well, that is a mystery, Max. I'm sure it'll turn up. But in the meantime, let's paint a new design on you. How about a lightning bolt? Blue? Blue? Are you okay, Blue Mechanical? Wah! Blue! What's got into you? Wah! Stop that right now, Blue! Why are you being so naughty? Oh no! Look at the mess that naughty Blue Mechanical's made! He's malfunctioning! That means something is terribly wrong with his onboard computer. Blue, look at the damage you've done. How are we ever going to repair this? Oh, Blue, it's okay. We'll get to the bottom of the problem. I wonder if the malfunction was caused by that bolt of lightning last night. Oh no, not again. Oh dear, he's on the loose and he could be anywhere. Mechanicals, we need to do everything we can to stop Blue. Go, go, Helen. Look, Mechanicals, there goes Millie the police motorbike. She's been called to an emergency. I just wonder if it's something to do with our blue friend. Let's follow her. Oh, look, Blue Mechanicals causing all sorts of trouble at the construction site. 
gotcha. Come on, naughty blue. Let's head back to the garage and get you back to your old self again. Mechanicals, can you stay here and repair Rick and Celia, please? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help. A mechanical in need. We must fix Blue Mech's problem. This really can't go on. Some of the time he seems fine, but then he goes all wrong. He's really been so bad today, and not just once or twice. Something's made him naughty when he's usually so nice. There's something up with his computer code. It's just one word that activates his mischief mode. Can you help me? What is the word on the screen? I can't say it in case Blue turns naughty again, but you can. If you can shout it out, then maybe we can help. Shout it out! Yes! You're right! I'll do some quick programming to remove the mischief mode from Blue's system. Now, let's try saying that word again together. Ready? Lightning! <coughs> Hooray! You're cured, Blue! Thanks for your help on that! That's okay, Blue. Thank you for saying sorry. Look at all this mess. And poor old Max is still without his wheel. Look, Blue. Our friends have arrived to help tidy up the mess. And Red Mechanical has found your wheel, Max. That's what friends are for. It's amazing what you can achieve when friends all pull together. What you did was very naughty, Blue. But the most important thing is you said sorry and repaired the damage that you caused. Wow, what a day here at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again next time. Bye! That's looking great. Oh, hello everyone. Gecko here. Chelsea the Cherry Picker's helping me and the Mechanicals to decorate the town, ready for the big truck parade this afternoon. My truck friends are meeting up at Gecko's Garage to get ready for the parade. Let's go visit them. Wow! There's lots of big trucks here for the parade. But where's Florence the forklift? I thought she was joining us. Oh, there you are, Florence. I couldn't see you behind Fiona the fire truck. Hmm, I think this might be a problem during the parade. We want to make sure that all of the trucks can be seen by everyone. I think we should parade through the town in size order, with the smallest truck at the front and the largest at the back. This is no good at all. The trucks are all jumbled up. We need the smallest truck on the left. That's you, Florence. And we need the biggest truck on the right. That's you, George. Who's the second smallest vehicle after Florence? It's difficult to pick. Tilly, maybe? Or Ryan? No, it's our road roller, Rick. Now, out of Tilly and Chelsea, who would you say is smaller? Tilly's hook makes her look tall, but Chelsea's arm can go taller. There, just move around a bit, and we have our smallest four. But now things get tricky, as it's time to sort some more. Max is big, but he'd be hidden by Ryan's arm and wrecking ball. But Fiona's even bigger. She's like a huge red wall. We'll put Max five and Ryan six. Let's get them into line with Fiona number seven. Now we need an eight and nine. Here are our last few vehicles. Next biggest is Bobby the bus. Then it's Larry the large lorry. 
because George is enormous. So Bobby's eighth and Larry ninth, which makes Giant George the last. Now every vehicle will be seen when the parade goes past. Fantastic! Everyone is sorted into size order and ready for the parade. Let's go everyone, the crowd will be waiting. Lawrence the forklift, Rick the road roller, Tilly the tow truck, Chelsea the cherry picker, Max the monster truck, Ryan the wrecking ball crane, Fiona the fire truck, Bobby the bus, Larry the lorry, and George the giant dump truck. Whoa, what's happened? We've stopped. Oh, now I can see what's happened. Florence has broken down. And because everyone's in a line, Tilly can't get to the front to help out. Rick the road roller is blocking the way. What are we going to do? This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, Helen! Hello, Helen. Are we glad to see you? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Right, Florence. I think this is a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Poor Florence. With that wonky wheel, we've really been delayed. But I'll get Helen to give us a lift to the end of the parade. Poor Florence has missed most of the parade. They've had to carry on without her. We'll have to drop her at the back of the line. Oh dear, this is no good at all. Nobody will notice tiny Florence behind giant George. And all she can see is George's back. This won't do at all. But I've got an idea. Hold on, Florence. Let's get you a better view. Hello again, Florence. Welcome to the best seat in the house. Now Florence is the highest in the parade. She can see everything from up here, and everyone can see her. Fantastic! I'm glad we could get Florence fixed up in time. Thanks for joining us today for the big truck parade. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And I'll see you again soon. Bye! Here they come now. Ryan. Florence. Celia. Andy. Rick. Tony. Tilly. Maisie. And Bobby. Now my friends are here, it's time to get them into their animal costumes for the party. Let's put the truck wash into dressing up mode. Do you know which button is the dressing up button? That's right, it's the green hanger and bow. Brilliant! 
Now the truck wash is a dressing up machine filled with fantastic costumes. It's time to send the vehicles through. In goes Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane. He's going to make you laugh. When you see him all dressed up as a super tall giraffe. Up next is Florence the Forklift. What will she dress as today? She's a baby elephant, all wrinkly and grey. Celia the cement mixer is cleaned and sprayed and wiped. She's a stunning zebra, like a horse, but striped. Andy the animal ambulance had better stay away from Ryan. We wouldn't want our new giraffe being chased by a fearsome lion. Rick the reliable road roller looks like the next one to go. A couple of horns, a coat of paint. What a scary looking rhino! Here comes Tony the taxi. What's going on in there? A pair of ears and some white spray paint makes a cuddly panda bear. Now it's tow truck Tilly's turn with her clothes from Halloween. She makes a brilliant scorpion. Those claws look really mean. In goes Maisie the mower. Add a new head that's fake. Stretch her out. Add a tongue. She makes a brilliant snake. And now it's Bobby the bus. Into the costume provider. And out he comes with eight new legs. A big, huge, hairy spider. Can you guess what I'm dressed up as? I'm orange, with black stripes and sharp teeth. That's right, I'm a tiger. Rah! Everyone looks fantastic, but we've forgotten to dress the mechanicals. Mechanicals! Stop messing around and drive into the dressing up machine. In go the mechanicals. Each one disappears. And out pop cheeky monkeys with long tails and giant ears. Brilliant! Now we're all ready. Let's head over to the zoo. Ryan the giraffe, Florence the baby elephant, Celia the zebra, Andy the lion, Rick the rhino, Tony the panda, Tilly the scorpion, Bobby the spider, Maisie the snake and the monkey mechanicals. all the guests. Hello everyone. <laughs> what a great party. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye!
Andy the Animal Ambulance is visiting Number Zoo today. He's here to pick up a poorly monkey and take her over to Dr Poppy's Pet Rescue Centre. Oh dear, what's happened to poor Andy? He's picked up his poorly passenger, but those cheeky monkeys have torn off his flashing lights. And he's covered in banana skins. Drive over to Gecko's garage and we'll get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Before we can check you over, we need to clean off all those banana skins. Time for a quick trip through the truck and car wash. Now we can see the damage those pesky monkeys have caused. Come into the garage and we'll take a good look at you. Those naughty monkeys. Your wipers and mirrors have been torn off, as well as your flashing lights. Talking of monkeys, we'd better check on your patient. Go, go, mechanicals! Oh no, the patient isn't here. She must have escaped. She's not in the ambulance. Where can she have gone? Hey, put that down. No, that's very expensive. Catch that monkey. Oh dear, I think I'll have to call Dr Poppy for help. Hello Gecko. Is everything okay? How's that sore arm of yours healing? Oh, fine, thanks to you, Dr Poppy. But I have another problem right now. Andy the animal ambulance is in the garage for repairs, but the patient he was bringing to you has escaped. And she's wrecking my garage. That sounds like Mabel the monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. Can you catch her? She's too fast and she's throwing things around like crazy. Try playing some gentle music to calm her down. Then put some bananas into the back of the ambulance and she might go back in by herself. OK. Thanks, Dr Poppy. We'll give that a try. Bye. That monkey is a handful, even though her tail is floppy but she's safely back where she belongs. All thanks to Dr Poppy. The mechanicals have fixed you up. They work hard without fail. Now it's off to the pet rescue centre to fix that monkey's tail. Welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a hospital just for poorly pets. Let's see what's wrong with Mabel, shall we? Here she comes down our conveyor belt now. Robbo, what can you tell us about Mabel? Mabel is a type of monkey called a spider monkey. Spider monkeys spend most of their time up in trees and they use their long tail like another arm to grab on and swing from branches. Thanks Robbo, but oh look, there seems to be something wrong with her tail. There appears to be a knot in her tail. One of those other cheeky monkeys must have played a trick on her. Naughty monkeys. Robbo, how are you with knots? Perfect. Mabel, you have your tail back. <laughs> hey! It looks like Mabel is back to her old self again. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye! Hello everyone. Dr Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone. It's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, 
gifts and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare parts store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs, fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know just the mixer, Celia! Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. Wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise! Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking, Florence. They must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games! Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets. And Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of Pass the Parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hats left to get. Found them! Phew! Come on, Florence. Let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr. Poppy wants them for. Shh, everybody. Here he comes. Three, two, one. Surprise! <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question. What did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko. Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. Bye! Bye. Hello everyone. 
It's the day of the Truck Cup Final. I hope you're all as excited as we are. It's a five-a-side match between the construction trucks and the regular trucks. And I'm the referee. The construction trucks are going to play in yellow. So they're already the right colour. But the other trucks are all different colours. So for today's game, they are all getting painted blue. Everyone looks great, but there's something missing. I know, football players usually have a number on their shirt. Let's use even numbers for the yellow team and odd numbers for the blue team. I wonder if Maisie and Sid have finished getting the pitch ready. Wow, the pitch looks fantastic. Well done, Maisie. Well done, Sid. I've got the football, and here come the teams. Is everyone ready to begin? Three, two, one. The yellow team has the ball. Danny passes it to Rick. Oh no. Rick's flattened the ball. I hope the Mechanicals can pump it back up again. Well done, Mechanicals. That's a yellow card for Rick. The blue team get the ball. Max has the ball. He's nearly at the yellow team's goal. Oh no, they have George as their goalkeeper. He's enormous. He fills up the goal. Can Max get past George? Yes! He's done it! Max scores a goal! 1 0 to the blue team! Trevor's got the ball! He's slow and steady, but. Oh no! Ryan has taken the ball! Look at him go! Brilliant dribbling! It's like the ball is glued to his tracks! Hang on a moment! He's attached the ball to his chain! That's not fair! That's a yellow card for Ryan! The blue team get the ball again. Rebecca's got the ball. She passes to Fiona. Hey! Fiona's using her flashing lights to get the yellow team to move out of the way. That's not allowed. Yellow card for Fiona. The yellow team get the ball. It's Danny on the ball now. He passes it to Florence. It's all down to Florence now. Can she score for the yellows? She weaves past Fiona. She weaves past Max. Vicky's in goal. But she can't stop Florence. It's a goal for the yellow team. That's one goal each. And that's the final whistle. Both teams have scored a goal, so it's a draw. What a fantastic game. It was a draw, so everyone's a winner. They can all share the trophy. Should we keep it at the garage? Everyone looks so happy. Well, almost everyone. Maisie and Sid don't look very happy. Ah, uh, I think they've seen what a mess the grass is in after all that driving around. Sorry. Don't worry, Maisie and Sid. The grass will soon grow back. Thanks for joining us for the Truck Cup Final today. I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you again soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. Hey. That's my toolbox! Rick! 
we really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the Ice Cream Van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit, but we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash, and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone. Those smoothies look great. Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm, -mm, these are yummy. The people at the beach are going to love these healthy fruity drinks. 
Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. See you again soon. Bye. Hello everyone. Leo the limo is coming over to the garage today. He's a super long stretched out car who takes people to special places in style. Oh no, look out Leo. Oh dear, Leo's got a scratch down his side now. And he's covered in mud. That's not a good look. You'd better hurry over to the garage, Leo, so we can help you get cleaned and repaired. Oh dear, that puddle must be deeper than it looks. Leo's wheel is stuck. I call for Helen the helicopter, but there's too many trees and not enough room for her to land. I think it's time to call on our newest Gecko's Garage helper, Tilly the tow truck. Go, go, Tilly! Tilly the tow truck has a big hook that she can use to rescue vehicles in trouble. Tilly's hook is perfect for pulling Leo out of that deep puddle. Thank you, Tilly. Now you can both drive to the garage. Thanks again for your help, Tilly. You're a great new member of our team. Oh dear, look at the state of you, Leo. Leo's supposed to be driving me and the mechanicals to the premiere of the new Star Trek movie. But we can't turn up with him looking like that. We'd better get you fixed up, Leo. Drive through the truck wash so that we can clean that mud away. There, now the mud's gone. Let's get you into the garage so that we can take a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Leo turn. Wow, that is a nasty scratch. And your sunglasses are broken too. Don't worry, Leo. The mechanicals will soon have you looking as good as new. Go, go, mechanicals! That really is an awful scratch. But the mechanicals have paint to match. A quick respray. New glasses too. And there you are, as good as new. Fantastic! Leo looks like a super cool dude again. Well done, Mechanicals. It's time to drive over to the movie premiere. Jump in, Mechanicals. Red, orange and yellow Mechanicals. Green, blue and purple Mechanicals. Black, white and grey mechanicals, brown mechanical and pink mechanical. Hang on a minute, it looks like the mechanicals have invited all of their friends and family to join us. Goodness me, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Leo might be a stretch limo, but he can't possibly carry all these extra mechanicals to the premiere. He's going to need some help. Here come some helpers now. Maisie the mower, Trevor the tractor, Max the monster truck, Dylan the dump truck, and Bobby the bus. Hmm, I'm still not sure there's going to be room for all these extra mechanicals. 
Let's measure you. Let's measure the vehicles to see how long they are. We can use the crates to help us. Maisie the mower is the smallest. She's one crate long. Next is Trevor the tractor. Two crates long. The middle truck is Max the monster truck. Three crates long. Even bigger is Dylan the dump truck. Four crates long. The longest vehicle is Bobby the bus. Five crates long. To make more room for more mechanicals, I think we're going to have to turn you all into... Stretch trucks! Let's press the stretch button. The first one in is little Maisie. Ha ha, this machine is really crazy. It pushes and pulls her, fast then slower. Welcome Maisie, the stretch mower. Here comes Trevor from the farm. Don't worry Trev, no need for alarm. Now he really has the X Factor. Introducing Trevor, the Stretch Tractor. Next in line is our friend Max. Following in Trevor's tracks. Everyone will be awestruck by Max, the Stretch Monster Truck. Dylan is the next one through. Ready to join the stretched out crew. A twist, a pull, a nip, a tuck. It's Dylan, the stretch dumper truck. Bobby is the last through the machine. It stretches him like a string bean. It's Bobby XL++. Plus plus plus. It's Super Long Bobby, the stretch bus. Let's see how long our vehicle friends are now. Maisie the mower is six crates long. Trevor the tractor. Seven crates long. Max the monster truck. Eight crates long. Dylan the dump truck. Is nine crates long. And last but definitely not least, Bobby the bus is Ten crates long. They're enormous. That's everyone on board. Let's head over to the movie premiere. Wow, this is amazing! 
Thank you to Leo and my other truck friends for driving us to the movie in style. I'm sorry they can't join us all in the cinema. They're too long to fit in the seats. Hang on a minute. This isn't a regular movie theatre. It's a drive-in. That means everyone can watch the film. Even my truck friends. Hooray! See you again soon. Bye. If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.